Hi, this is Michelle from Healthier Steps. Today, I'm super excited because my friend Merlene from Savory Thoughts and I are going to be sharing with there you, you these amazing, Hi, flavorful salad you recipes. Whenever Merlene and I get together, afternoon, we have well, so much fun in the kitchen. So let's go. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. Doing great. Doing great. Today we are so excited. We're going to be sharing salad recipes. Yes, yes. <laughs> We're getting ready for spring. Getting ready for spring. Right. Spring is already here in Florida. <laughs> Full blown. Spring is there <laughs> all year round. I know. That's true. <laughs> right, welcome, welcome, Vincent. 1844. Hello, welcome. Brother, welcome. Welcome, AJ. Welcome. <laughs> this is the Keller's eye today. Uh, come on in, come on in. Michelle, I love the background. I love all the flowers and Thank the book. You. Thank you. <laughs> love your background as well. I love the nice, yeah. white, bright, cheery. I need to change it to make it more spring-like. Yes. Did you? Did you do? Not yet. I haven't done it yet. yet. Okay. <laughs> It's perfect the way it is, though. Yeah. Welcome, Della Proin. Welcome. Hello, everyone. Welcome, everyone. Today, we'll be sharing salad. So, Mimi, what yes. salad do you have for us today? Today, we're having salad. It's just a regular mixed spring salad.
the baby spinach spring um, mix that you would get from local supermarket. Yeah, and so this is, so this is what it looks like. It's been washed. Although the package says that it's washed, I, it's a good idea for you to wash it yourself. So I have that. And I also have some um, cucumbers that are cut. I still have the seeds in it. Because I'm okay. Good. Um, we have all the fixings here, and I also have um, roasted chickpeas. These are air fried. Oh. This is also on the site as well. Yum! High, okay. high protein. So you're adding that extra Green protein. protein. So, so that that salad sounds like it could be for a meal because it has oh, everything no. you need. Oh, so this is a meal because Michelle. <laughs> Thank you for putting it out there earlier this year. So definitely have been changing my eating habits, and I've been going to the gym. So, oh, 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 oh. so I can see the difference. So no more bread. They're glowing. <laughs> so before we get to this, let me tell you a quick story. Earlier today, I think we were on the phone, and I had to make food for AJ. So you're like, no right. meat? No, no meat. <laughs> so here we go. Made him um, chickpea curry nice. to go with you know, leftover rice, and he's like, Yum. Oh. like "No, we're cutting down. Nice. <laughs> we're working hard." <laughs> That's one of my favorite dishes: the chickpea curry with rice. Yum. Oh, it's crazy! Wow, within ten minutes, five right, ten right. minutes, it was done. Thank you, right, Face. He says, "Congratulations, Mimi." Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you, thanks for the support. <laughs> Michelle put it out there, so I figured, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, hi, Janie. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hello. So, we're making the salad dressing first, Michelle. So, yeah. this is what it looks like. Oh, yummy. That looks good. I like that pretty green, creamy okay. color. Looks good. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're making this. And I'm using the food processor, so you don't need anything fancy. A regular blender or food processor will do just right. fine right. so we have the avocado and i already washed it okay mm -hmm. yep so, slicing it in half please be careful when you are doing this yeah especially if you have a it's sharp knife so, yeah. guys okay right. get the one that's already um that's really ripe only because it creams up and if there are some black spots, like, you know, the dark ones like this, that's fine. Just remove that section, remove that area. It doesn't mean that your avocado is bad. It's just been sitting on the counter. You can keep it on the, you can keep it in the refrigerator to prolong the life, but yeah. you're fine. Yes. Um, welcome, so, 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 everyone's welcome in so, so welcome. <laughs> so we are starting with, um, our liquid first. I'm using water. The recipe is also on the site, okay? Nice. So this is a cup and one fourth cup of water. One, okay. The, so I'm using, I'm putting the water in first instead of putting the avocado in. I feel right. that when you add the liquid in first, it helps it to blend better. Right. Okay? So right. So Makes sense. Is not Makes sense. The, blade, um, the, bread, um, the blade. What, so now what, I, what are you using, Mimi, the blender or the food processor? A food processor. You can definitely okay. use a blender if you want to. Okay. Good. All right. So, um, water in. This is two tablespoons of olive oil. Or you can use avocado oil. <laughs> it's okay.
making avocado dressing. Avocado dressing. And, yes, and now you notice that it's not thick like you would get from the, like the store. I like mine to be a little bit on the thinner side. Right. So here's the reason why I added one cup and one fourth, one, one and one fourth cup of water, okay? Right. So here, this is how it looks. Once it's blended, it's still creamy, it's still rich. Okay? And you still get all the amazing flavors. And now to the salad, guys. So put this aside. Again, for those of you who are joining us, this is what it looks like once it's finished. Okay? So now we have the salad. Again, I'm using the, the um, spring mix salad. <laughs> I see you too, too. <laughs> No, that's what I call my daughter. I think I told you that before. <laughs> so, guys, for the salad, it's very simple. It's all about just assembling what you have on hand. I mean, it's your meal, it's your salad. Make it however you wish, right? So, here I have the greens. Bye, Naughty Kitchen. Thanks for joining. She said she has to go to work. Okay, all right. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate you coming in. All right, so now I have um, so the so the the leaves, tomatoes. Right. You can use green or cherry tomatoes, whichever one you prefer. Okay. Yes, you can. Yes, Bonnie Face is saying that we can eat avocado for every meal, breakfast, lunch, Not and me. dinner. I agree. You can have it with your breakfast burritos. Yeah. So now we're doing the. Um, we're adding in the cucumbers. Cucumbers now? Cucumbers is next. I'm sure them. And then I also have um, sunflower seeds that I'm adding. But before I do that, we have sweet peppers. You oh, can get this crunch. crunch and the sweetness. The sunflower the seeds. So could I use other mm. nuts or seeds that I want? Oh, yeah. You can, you can customize this any kind of way you like. This Great. is just what we have on a regular basis and this is what we like so again right. it's your style customize it any kind of way you like right um so well, aj and i onions for those of you who follow my blog you know i'm not a big fan of onions unless it's blended so you're using what red onions baby this is um regular white sweet onions as well oh the white sweet one like the vidalia the white sweet one. so uh again this is also Completely optional. Right. All right. So just a little bit of that. And now I have the roasted chickpeas for extra protein. Right. And this also gives it a crunch. Okay. And it's also on the site. This is the air fryer version. Okay. And I'm adding in the sunflower seeds. Okay. Thank you. Thank just, you. Just enough. Okay. Okay. All right. So this is what it's it looks like. Pretty, looking very pretty. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Give it a quick spin. Look at all those colors. I love the rainbow look with all the different colors. Yeah, you know, that's tons of nutrients. Thank you guys for joining. Okay. Mimi salad, chickpea salad with avocado Chippies dressing. Salad. It looks amazing. Thanks. Thanks. So now we're going to transfer it to a bowl. So, Michelle, this is definitely a meal. Okay, thank you. Buddy Faye says, you're good helpers. God bless your hands. Oh, many blessings oh, to you too. You. Thank you so much. All right. That looks so good. Oh, making me hungry over here. You know, you're more than welcome to take a flight and come up. <laughs> soon, soon. So you pre cook okay. the chick. Okay, Kenny Cards asks. Yeah. So you pre cook the chicken yes. in the air fryer. Yes. Correct. So I have the recipe on the side. Just go to savethoughts.com and you'll see it. It's very simple. Um, salt and pepper to taste with olive oil, and you air fry it for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your on your 
um, choice. Or that have, gives you a nice crunch. So it's more like, almost like you're eating croutons. That Correct. So instead of the bread you're using, the chickpeas right. instead, healthier, you know. More nutritious, um, better on your stomach. Correct. So now, pour it in. Oh, wow. That looks so good. As much or as little as you like. And voila. Looks so, so good. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look yes. at all the colors. Okay. You can add Look extra colors. And that's the salad. So this is a meal. So this is actually my lunch. For oh, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> love it, Mimi. Love it, guys. Give her that's a love. Show, show Mimi some love. Yes, yes, yes. So Pour thank you. Love, guys. <laughs> some love, guys. So, yeah, love, it's definitely nice. I love it. Love it. You did love amazing, Mimi. Yes. And guys, if you make it, if, if it starts to turn brown because of the avocado, um, yeah. just give it a quick stir. And also, lemon juice or lime juice will help keep it fresh. Right, right. And and then what, what, what about the leftovers? leftovers? What you do? I usually just pick the avocados out. Sorry? There's leftover. Because it's gonna be brown. If there's there leftovers, yeah. Yes, yeah. it will be brown. But if you stir it, majority of the um, the natural colors are usually at the bottom. So. Right, right, right. Okay. Looking okay, good. Looking okay, good. Any more questions? Yummy. Any more? Michelle and oh, Merlin play a big role in our life. Oh, blessings oh. to you. Blessings to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So please go make it. Let us know how you like it. Yes, definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. So Michelle, you're trying to. Joining us for those of you who are new, my name is Merlin from Save Me Thoughts, and we have Michelle, of course, from Healthier Steps, and we just finished making um, the avocado dressing. And also, we assembled a quick salad. The recipe is that is on the site. Um, right. Let's see. We have a comment coming in. How many avocados can we eat a day? I would say no more than one or half to one a day, but it all depends yeah. on you. Please check with your doctor. Um, although it is healthy and it has um, good components to help with your immune system and bone strength and you know, like we mentioned earlier with um, arthritis, but please check right. with your doctor just in case if you're allergic and you don't know any other medical issues that you may not be aware of, just check with your doctor just to be safe. Yeah, because I mm -hmm. recently um, found out that even avocado, if it's not right properly, there is latex in it, so you can end up with latex allergy. And that's, you know, something that people need to be aware of. Some people cannot are allergic to Almost every fruit there is, there's somebody who's going to be allergic to it. So just um, be mindful of that. Yes. Um, yes. So today what I'm doing is, this morning Ma, I told my husband that we're going to be doing salads today. So I said, I need to do a dressing. And he said, you know, exactly the dressing that I was thinking of making is my Asian salad dressing. And so that's the dressing I decided to make because it was on my mind. And he said, that's his favorite. The reason why we love it, it pretty much goes with any salad. It just makes it pop because there's so many um, like dominant flavors going on. It's the blend of that sesame. Then there's the sweetness. So, you know, the sweet, then the, the liquid aminos or soy sauce. So then there's that salty, sweet. Um, I mean, there's just so many. The ginger with that kick is going on in it. So what I did was I'm going to make it creamy because I like it creamy. I mean, you don't have to make it creamy too. Um, but I decided to use, you can use, I'm using cashew because of all the nuts, I find that cashew is, gives the creamiest results. I mean, macadamia is also creamy, but it's super expensive. So I like to use um, cashews. And so I don't use roasted cashews, do raw. Roasted can work, but do raw. And one of the things that you do to start before you do, you can toast some sesame seeds. The recipe is also on my website. So guys, welcome. Thank you. And let's make this salad and see what I did. The first thing I did was to make the dressing. Yes, love. Yes, love. Before we start, so we have, um, hold on. We have 
Camel Card says, wow, I did not know about the latex. Thank you. And Kamari says, all the blessings. Yes, you that have latex are your watermelon, jackfruit, um, papaya. So there's quite a few. If you just Google fruits with latex in them, you can see which ones they are. And so sometimes people are suffering from abdominal discomfort. And they don't know what you know because if you're not doing food journaling or you know documenting every time you eat how you feel and that's something that, that we should be doing how do you feel because everyone's body is unique everybody reacts to certain food differently so sometimes it's good to just take note of that so um the so i'm adding my and i already added them to the blender so what i have in the blender um is my cashews I have ginger, I have sesame oil. Yeah. Right yeah, you can show. Because I'm not I already add them to the blend. I'm just gonna blend. So I have maple syrup as a sweetener. You can substitute for whatever sweetener you have. I'm doing sesame oil, I'm doing lemon juice, um Bragg's liquid aminos or soy sauce, whichever one you have. And I'm putting that all in the blender over here, and then I'm just gonna process it until. <laughs> super creamy you look at that and it's so flavorful really nice you don't have to buy store-bought salad dressing it's better you make your own you know exactly what's in it and so what i'm going to use today as my base i'm using green leaf lettuce and um it's up to you like i just use a knife and chop my my lettuce but i used to volunteer at a lifestyle center well how many years ago probably how many years now ago? Maybe 14 years ago. And the lady who was in charge of the kitchen, she always wanted me to, when I made the salad, she wanted me to take the leaf one by one and she wanted me to break them gently and she would be like, Michelle,
beautiful and it tastes phenomenal it's very nutritious i've eaten this is probably my second bowl mm. you really gotta try it i'm using okay so delicious Mm. Mm. This is so good. And the cucumber is so crunchy. Anyway, have you guys purchased my cookbook? It's sold on Amazon and it's on my website. You can purchase it from anywhere. And it's 125 gluten-free vegan recipes. And the foreword was by Drs. Robert and Laura Sparks, DC. And the book is very good, especially those who are on a path to a vegan and gluten-free diet. You will have all the recipes in here. Cobra, wow, 125 recipes here. Like I said, you can purchase this from Amazon. Just look for Michelle Blackwood. Um, cookbook on Amazon and or healthier steps 125 gluten-free vegan recipes or you can purchase it from my website where I'll send you an, an autograph copy if you buy the printed book you'll get an art autograph copy signed by yours truly and but this is for those who are winning in the US if you want a printed copy and you're outside of the US you can get it from Amazon, but I only send it to those in the US. So guys, get the cookbook today. Subscribe to my channel and be sure to do more research on ashwagandha. Like I said, I, I read some of the health benefits here for ashwagandha. Some of the health benefits are, it is can reduce blood sugar levels, and there are studies that came back to say that might have anti-cancer properties, can reduce cortisol levels, may reduce stress and anxiety, may reduce symptoms of depression, can boost tos testosterone and increase fertility in men, may increase muscle mass and strength, may reduce inflammation in the body, may lower cholesterol and triglycerides may improve brain function including memory and it's safe for most people and it's widely available so guys this is michelle again from healthier steps thank you for watching my videos thank you for all your support and i'm asking you again to subscribe if you haven't and you're watching this video and you've made it this far Thank you for all your support, everything you do, and be sure to hit on the notification bell so that you can be notified on all my latest recipes. Thank you.